Today, we're just going to get right into it as your favorite talking head does his best to dissect another television show. As you can see, I've been binge watching TV shows like crazy, and this one is one of my favorites. The Marvelous Miss Maisel, the final season, season five, just finished up today on Amazon, and I couldn't wait. I stayed up late just to watch this because it's been five years of my life that Rachel Bronson has stolen the show. Hi, I'm your host, Chris Humphrey. For those of you who don't know who I am, I'm just another guy on the internet blabbing about what I think is good and what I think is bad and hoping you tell me down below if you agree with me or not. Today is the Marvelous Miss Maisel final season. Very sad. The last episode just aired today, which is Friday, May 26th. If you haven't seen it, get get on Prime. Just binge watch those five seasons and you'll be great. There's other shows on there, but these five seasons are excellent. It's a comedy drama. I, I'll explain it as best as I can, but this season was a delight. Uh, and then I'm going to do something at the bitter end that will surprise the hell out of you guys. And that's what I'm here for. But this season follows a... Miss Maisel, who is still trying to up and come, but it does a beautiful part of intricate time jumps. Jumps to the 70s, jumps to the 80s, jumps to later, uh, where it shows you how her life went after uh, comedy. But you want to find out how it got there. The four seasons prior were the same thing. It's about a... a sort of single mother uh, with a very good ex-husband and she's trying to become a comedian in 1950s, late 50s and late 60s and 60s uh, comedy as a woman. And that would probably be incredibly hard. And then add on top that she's a Jewish woman. And that's what you follow the first four seasons. But knowing that this is the final season, they do something cool where they time jump. So you get to see the, um, her daughter all grown up and her son all grown up and you get to see what they become uh, based off of her personality was she a good mother or not uh, throughout the years did she get successful or not and that's what this fifth, fifth season falls as you can tell i really liked it uh I'm, i probably don't have a lot of uh downfalls uh in this actual show and i love the way that they actually ended it and if i'm being honest with you this is my kind of comedy uh, so I was up for it. It was very dry Jewish, Kevin Pollack, Tony Shalhoub. What a type of comedy, like a really good job. And this might be Tony Shalhoub's very best dance partner, uh, the lovely lady that plays his wife, who was great in Two and a Half Men. She's great in a lot of things. But this might be his best dance partner he's ever had in a show. And they play off of each other. The comedy is always hit. I never feel bad um, when I watch a show because the comedy is so old-fashioned but modern. I, I don't know how to describe it, but uh, I think the fourth season, there's a scene where they're on a Ferris wheel. It might even be this season if I'm com combining the two. But the fourth season, they're on a Ferris wheel and... There's a comedy sequence there, and that solidified the show as being one of the better comedies. When they're talking to each other on a Ferris wheel as it goes up, I think that might be one of the best comedy sequences in a television show. But it's it's a good slapstick, old-school comedy that the world needs. And Mrs. Maisel, she's a talent, Rachel uh, Bronson. Miss Bronson is another talent. If the rumors are true that she might be playing Lois Lane, she might bring some oomph to that character that we haven't seen in a while, and why not? But she's a, she's always a talent. I think she did this movie on Amazon where she's a single mother trying to run from a from a uh, her crazy mafia husband, uh, and I thought that movie was great. But back to the television show because as you can see, I'm reminiscing. This season was everybody always tries to be better than its previous. And this season had the unique ability of trying to intertwine the future into it along with the past. So you can see how what her life went to and where it went in her family life. And they did such a wonderful job. I didn't expect that. 
uh, that first episode when it came on and it was her daughter in psychiatry talking about her mother. I was like, wow. I like, I'm like, why is it, why is she wearing a Ramones t-shirt? I think it was Ramones. It might be another group. Uh, but I'm like, where, what, where am I? Am I watching the same show? And then it got, went back into the past and the old New York uh, Jewish comedy uh, kicked in. And I was like, I was like, wow, that's good. And then they did it again next episode or in the middle. And then every episode then got to see some more time chumps of what happened to Alex Borstein's uh, character. Another great one show probably on one episode alone. I don't want to spoil it, but there's an episode where, um, I'm not going to, if you haven't watched her show, then I won't spoil it too much, but let's just say the people that own her might be mafia related, but I'm hoping after five seasons, you have sort of watched the show and she gets herself into a little bit of trouble and, uh, it takes, it takes Joel, uh, Miss Maisel's ex-husband to kind of keep everybody out of trouble. And that, that's essentially what he does. And it's that episode that I think Alex, if, if I'm Amazon, I would put this show up for an Emmy, this episode. I would put this show up for an Emmy too, but this episode in particular for writing and Alex should win an Emmy just based on this, this based off of comedy and drama. She's always great. She was Mrs. Swan from Mad TV. So a fan like me seeing her in this show, great. Uh, what people aren't going to like, if you haven't watched a show, you have to watch the first four seasons to in order to understand. Some people might not like the time jumps because I'm hearing a lot of fans didn't don't like it, but I like how they're putting it into the the um, the past and showing you the future because we know this is it for the show, and I liked it, uh, and I want you guys to go out and watch it if you haven't already. Its final episode airs today, so get out there and watch it, please. Because what a tremendous show. Uh, what a tremendous accomplishment. The writers, everybody on this, every actor that played a part in this should be um, very good. Uh, the episode where um, Tony Shalhoub, uh, where the dad goes to Ethan's um, Ethan's uh, parent-teacher interview where and he finds out about his grandson. Oh, I, so much good comedy in that episode alone where I, I couldn't help it uh, there. And then this final season solidifies this show as probably one of the greater uh, comedy dramas uh, out there. And at the end of this video, I'm going to surprise you. Uh, but this season, there may have just been some slight misses. It, like any comedy, it's subjective. Some of them are going to go and how fast-paced her life is uh there it can be hit or miss with the comedy but i liked it seeing her in the writer's room of a of a ed sullivan type show gordon ramsay i believe is the character's name uh like uh in a merv griffin and all that type of show like uh i i liked it i liked seeing where her future was gonna be and hopefully she did become that big star she always wanted uh i hope you guys like it I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10 because there was just one episode that didn't hit as much. Uh, and then the next episode was the best episode of that might be of the series where Alex should win the award uh, there. But this episode before that, you're like, ah. But everybody should be very proud of this show, what they've accomplished over the five years. The type of comedy that it does might not be for everybody, but this is a 9 this is almost perfect. Just that one episode. It was still good. That episode was probably about an eight, maybe. But um, then the next episode was almost a masterpiece, number 10. Uh, that episode about Alex getting involved with some shady people and Joel, the husband, getting him out of trouble. That episode is the epitome of good writing, good acting, actors understanding characters and being able to bring in the nuances of five seasons into it and the comedy in that one was, was uh, bar none some of the best. And it's probably because it focused more on Alex, his character. Um, and uh, what a what a show. I'm sad to see it go. I'm sad to see that this is the final episode. What a great uh, series finale. One of the best. 
uh, series finale. I like the time jump stuff. I'll argue with people down below. Let me know what you think of it down below. But I'm going to do something that I haven't done uh, in a while. I'm going to update my list of top five TV shows of all time. Yes, we're going to wave goodbye to Justified, as you can see on the list. We're going to wave goodbye. It's no longer number five. And we're going to put The Marvelous Miss Mesa. We're going to put it up there, though. That's right. We're going to shoot it up there. I'm going out on a limb here, and I'm going to say that this is probably the second best television show of all time. I know I surprised you. I'm going to put it in as a nine overall as a television show. I just think it it keeps par with all this. Now, you can see my list. It, it's going to be forever changing now. In a couple months, will I be able to watch it again? Yes. Uh, will I be able to watch it again and maybe put it on the same list? I hope so. Uh, and that, and that, that's the beauty of film and art. You can always go back and watch it. But I think five seasons, it might be arguably, and it might be the writers and the actors playing off of each other. They picked a good cast of characters. And this season is no slouch. I think it's probably the second best season of the show. I think the Shy Baldwin stuff was was probably uh, some of the um, the best written work. But this is great, great comedy, clean comedy. Well, clean in the sense that there are some swear words, but didn't have to be overly crazy and old school comics. Um, what, a, what a treat this show was. I want everybody to go out and binge watch the five seasons. Let me know what you think of this season down below. Let me know what you think of The Marvelous Miss Maisel, if you like it or not. Maybe the comedy is not for you. Maybe that kind of um, single mother type comedy uh, saying things like tits up are is not for you. And okay. But for me, it's great. Uh, this was one of the shows that uh, I used to watch with my mother uh, when 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 we could uh, because it was that kind of comedy we were looking for i thought it was funny charming fast paced and this season is great and you, you, as you can see if i put it in the top five television shows of all time that i think of and i had to knock off justified probably arguably one of the greatest shows i've ever liked uh you can see that like, that means a lot and this season kind of solidified that all right, guys, I'm out of time. I'm sorry for talking so much, but this show meant a lot to me, this kind of comedy. Uh, I love you guys. If I don't see you again, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. And one last time, tits up. Beijo. Ciao, guys. Producer, hit my music, baby. But not the theme song of the Marvelous Miss Measle because I can't afford it. Ciao.